809 is August Alcina right here on the Ryan Kevin Morning Show. All right, we have Crystal. We do. And, and Ian Burke. We do. In the studio. We do. And this is our, our, our last break with them. So, <laughs> Ian, you yeah. know, what is it that you want to clear up about all of this? Because I just got a text from, like, Dave Gates, who was a part of all of this, too. And he right. said, basically, Dave just said, we all know how TV does, and it comes to the writer and director discretion. No matter how wrong it can be, you need more than a couple of hours to tell that story. And I said, that's true. If they left everything in, it would still be on TV right now. And, and that's the thing. I, I honestly felt like it should have been like they did to Jackson's or The Temptations, a, a two-day mini, mini story, because of the fact that a lot of things were left out. Um, and, you know, you, there's, it's a lot to squeeze in two hours. Mm-hmm. So I don't fault anybody by that, about that. It's just the whole creative license thing, right? you know, about the movie. But I do want to say, you know, um, everybody's asking, you know, how did the group actually get together? Um, it was the, the brainchild of, of myself and Crystal. I was managing Crystal at the time. Um, myself and my partner, Kenneth Kidd, who uh, actually introduced me to Jermaine Dupree back in the day. He's like the, the silent figure in this whole thing, Kenneth David Kidd. And um, we, uh, we came up with this thing about doing a female version of BBD. And it was actually Rico Wade who uh, became prominent years later as a member of Organized Noise. Uh, and actually did one of their biggest records, Waterfalls. He was the one who um, brought Lisa to the audition over at Sidney Darden's house. And um, uh, I actually said no to Lisa in the beginning. Uh, I didn't felt like she came in a dress. I was looking for girls that were kind of tomboyish. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I actually said no to Lisa. And I went in the back to, to sit down and talk with Rico and the rest of the guys. And Crystal sat up front with Lisa and... Lisa rap for Crystal. And then Crystal came back and just like, yo, man, you really need to hear her rap. You know, you really need to hear her. And I was like, Crystal, she's not fitting the mold. I don't think it's going to work. But Crystal said, look, I need you to listen. And I listened. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're in the group. Wow. Yeah, you did, you're in the group. Because she was dope. She had that money, money love feel, mm-hmm. that right. quick tongue. Mm-hmm. Plus, she was quick. The only thing that bothered me with uh, with her was the way she was dressed. And she was like, well, I thought this is what you wanted, but I usually wear baggy clothes. That's what I'm comfortable mm-hmm. in. So I was like, all right, cool. So after that, Rico actually was supposed to bring Tion to the meeting. She couldn't make it that night. Um, I actually had my group together. I had Crystal, Lisa, and another Lisa that was in the group, but I was determined to meet this girl because Rico was like, yo, she's definitely the one. So we went to this woman's house at 2 o'clock in the morning, knocked on her door. And when she opened the door, I was like, yo, you don't even have to sing. You're it. That's it. You're it. Because she didn't have no makeup on. She's fresh out of the bed, wiping the sleep out of her eyes. And I just saw the star that Tion is. And she she sang, you know, she had a cold and everything. She did. It's like, you know, at that time, it's like, oh, whatever. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you're in the group. This is This is your thing. And the last thing I want to say is, you know, another pivotal person that I felt was missing was Jermaine Dupri. And and that's because it was Jermaine who made her sing, Tion sing in that lower register. You know what I'm saying? He was the one who was like, you know what? I got to, you know, we got to change this whole situation around. Try singing like that. She didn't like it at first, but it became her signature sound. That's right. Therefore becoming the signature sound of TLC. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, yo, how could you leave that? That was mm-hmm. pivotal. You know what I'm saying? So it was yeah, a lot. Absolutely. Me going through it and, and watching the whole situation and how they had it unfold on TV, it made me grimace a little bit because I was like, ah. You know, and I understand. But Don't you cleared it up today yeah. for a lot of yeah. people. Like, yeah. I think like you said that, yeah. you know, like a lot of people are going to take this as fact yeah, because, because they only know what they saw on, is, on TV last night. Exactly. Not being raised in Atlanta, what I saw, I'm taking that as it, how it actually happened. And Crystal, I know you said before the break that the reason you got out of the group is because you didn't sign the contract. And the movie, of course, they're portraying you as not being able to sing. You don't want to sing for us this morning, though, you said, correct? Right. Okay, just want to... Because that was one of the biggest parts of the movie right. well, that well, people are looking for. Let me let me clear that up, too. Um, what, and I want to... This group was not put together as a singing group. One of the other things that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned was the one thing that they didn't capitalize. TLC was never just another singing group. I put We put TLC together uh, to start a movement. It was a movement because before TLC, you never saw any other female groups wearing baggy clothes 
or, or doing the things that they were doing or having a rapper in a group. It was non-existent. You had In Vogue. You had The Good Girls. You had Expose. You know, oh, the good three old W. You know what? I'm, no, SWV no, three. No, they weren't there they weren't yet. There no, yet. No, they weren't actually, because <laughs> SWV was actually yeah. called TLC mm-hmm. before, uh, before. But when the actual TLC came out, SWV had to change their name to SWV Sisters right. with Voices. You know what I'm saying? So, my whole thing was this: is not to get a bunch of singers, but to get you know to form that that hot female group. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this. Crystal does not sound as bad as they portrayed her on the <laughs> show last night. I mean, you were you were you were representing her, so absolutely. And everybody knows that you know talent, so that would've been you. crazy. And absolutely. my thing is, my thing is, if I sing that bad, then why would you offer me a contract? Right. So but you know what? As we go to break here, Crystal, knowing that TLC became the largest selling group female history, mm-hmm. when you look back on it. Do you maybe you think okay, maybe I just on after all is said and done, do you ever say yeah maybe I, I should have? It not one iota. Mm, I've grown, I've matured, so I'm fine with everything now. You know, I've kind of gotten over all the hurt a long time ago, but um, everything happens for a reason, and apparently it wasn't meant for me. But I felt, I feel very blessed that I was able to, you know, bring forth. But you do have a book. Yes. That's what you need. Uh, So you do have a book coming out. Yes, I have a collection of memoirs I'm currently working on. Yeah. And TLC, just so everybody knows, it's not a book about TLC. It's a book about me and my journey and the things that I've been through in life. And TLC is a pivotal part of it. Well, we appreciate you coming up this morning and and talking to us. Thank you. Yes. You ain't saying that. I know you ain't saying for us, but. Well, you sing in the book, though. <laughs> sing yes. in the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Appreciate you, Ian. Always good to see you, man. Thank A16 you, man. Thanks right for now. Us. Crash D, what up, baby? Hi, man.